Two years ago in my home community of Nashville, Tennessee, thousands of my neighbors lost their homes and businesses in a giant flood and had no flood insurance because it never flooded in those areas. It was what they described as a once in a thousand year rainfall. Well, there are a lot of communities around the world now that are experiencing once in a hundred year events, once in 500 year events, even once in a thousand year events every few years. Think about last year for a moment. The hottest year in the recorded history of the United States. $110 billion in climate related disaster damage. Completely off the charts. Nothing remotely similar has ever been experienced before. Huge fires in the forests of the American West again. And the growing infestation of these same forests by beetles that attack the trees weakened by drought. Diminished ice and snow packs and melting patterns that deprive agriculture of the melt flow in the hot months of the summer when it's needed, but gives too much in early spring surges when it's not. Sixty-one percent of the country in drought. And then, of course, Scoop Storm Sandy at the end of October. When the movie made from this uh, book, An Inconvenient Truth, came out, maybe the single most commonly used uh, criticism from uh, opponents of doing anything about the climate crisis was that I exaggerated by showing ocean water going into the World Trade Center Memorial site. Haven't heard that lately. <laughs> when you look toward the human future, I think it's fair to say that we have two powerful tools with which to shape our future. One is democracy and the other is capitalism. Both of these systems have been proven, in my view, over time, to be by far the best way of organizing politics and economics, respectively. And these two systems have been intertwined, spiraling upwards in the manner of a double Helix never touching because if the money and the wealth and power from the economy is siphoned into the political system, then you got trouble. And that's what's happening today. Our democracy has been hacked. The operating system has been taken over and turned to purposes very different from the ones our founders intended. 